I get a lot of people asking me about my process for filming and editing my video covers. So in this video, I'm kind of just going to be walking through a time lapse of me creating one from scratch. So the first thing I do is I try to find the key and the tempo of the song that I'm working on. In this case, this is the Boomin emote from Fortnite. From there, I try to match all the synthesized instruments. So in this case, drums is the only thing that I'm going to have played electronically. So I'll pretty much try to match the drums in the original with an electronic version that I can find in GarageBand. And then I just start transcribing the parts. Usually I'll start with the bass drum, which is what I'm doing right here. And I'm also adjusting the velocity of the note, which is basically like how hard or soft the drum would be hit. So that's what I'm doing here too. And then after that, I transcribe the hi-hat and the snare part, which is pretty much all there is in this one. There's not really any fills or anything, but if there are, I would transcribe the fills too uh, with the toms and whatnot. And this is, a this is a pretty simple cover, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do it for this video, because it would be easy to walk through and there's not too many things going on. But yeah, so then once I finish that, I loop it as necessary, and then this is what it sounds like. And then from there, I'll start to learn usually the bass and guitar parts. Here I'm trying to learn the bass part. So then I pretty much am just learning the bass part by ear, kind of chopping stuff up as needed or looping. I thought originally that the bass part looped, but it doesn't really. There's kind of two separate themes, so that's kind of what I do here. And then here's what everything sounds like with the drums and the bass after I've recorded them. Then from there, the next part I try to learn is guitar. So in this particular cover, there's electric guitar. Here's me tuning. I usually tune my guitar and then uh, mess around with Tom Mish chords that I'm trying to remember from last time I picked up guitar. <laughs> so once I finish wasting time there, this is just me kind of trying to learn the guitar part by ear. As you can see, I'm pretty much just pausing and playing the video of the emote, which I actually have up on a separate monitor, which isn't obviously in this recording. The other thing I do is there are all these amps in GarageBand that you can kind of choose from, and they try to replicate real amps, so I'm pretty much trying to match the guitar that I'm hearing in the original, so this is kind of me trying to figure that out. I try to get pretty close and then just go from there. And then the same thing applies once I, I'm just pretty much trying to figure out the whole guitar part, learn it by ear, and then I'll record it just like the bass part. It gets easier as I go because I kind of can listen more to what I had already recorded. And then here I'm trying to record, there's like a record scratch sound effect in the original. And so I'm trying to kind of mimic that by scraping my pick along the guitar strings kind of horizontally, I guess, or vertically rather. That's it for um, recording all the guitar and bass parts. Let's see what we're at time-wise. So we're at an hour and 58 minutes, pretty much two hours. Let's see, we have the bass and both guitar parts done. This is a pretty simple emote and the drum parts written out. Now what I'm gonna do is try to rearrange my lighting and find a way to film me while I'm filming myself. Or film me, film, I don't know, something, something like that.
Yeah, so here's a time lapse of me <laughs> kind of resetting my room and kind of turning it into a better place to film by, you know, setting up all my lights and getting everything set up. I should be practicing this, but that's how it goes some days. I have my iPhone set up and that a, a lot of people think I have a professional camera. I really am just recording with an iPhone 6S and I'm using an app called Filmic Pro so I can manually adjust uh, all the camera settings like the shutter speed and the color temperature and things like that. And then I have two soft boxes and I'll have links for all of this gear in the description if you want to check them out, but they're pretty simple soft boxes. And then I have a very cheap lamp from Walmart in the back with a Philips Hue bulb in it so I can adjust the color temperature of it. And that's kind of my backlight to help light behind me and kind of keep me separated from the background. So a lot of times you can also see I'm trying to like relearn some of the parts usually by the time I get to filming I've already forgotten some of the parts because on guitar anyways because I don't write them out I can't really read guitar music I have my phone connected to my laptop so I can see what my camera is seeing basically and that helps me kind of stay in frame and then once I'm done filming I pretty much just tear everything back down and kind of set my room back up the way it was Okay, so now this is pretty much just me editing audio. I basically just isolate each part, chop out any parts where maybe I wasn't playing and some strings were still ringing or stuff like that, and then make other adjustments. Like here, I wanted to change the pedal on one of the guitar parts, so I kind of make adjustments like that. I forgot to start the timer again, so I don't know, it's been like 20 minutes since I started editing audio. I'm just gonna tack on an extra 20 minutes or so for editing audio, I'm pretty much done now. So um, I just forgot to start it. So I'll add that to the end, but. So here is the video editing process. This isn't going to be really a video editing tutorial. There are a lot of those online, especially because there's so many different softwares. So I've pretty much just learned how to edit by watching tutorials on YouTube, like specifically for the software that I was using. So I don't know if I'll ever make one of those necessarily, but if you have any questions, you can definitely feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer as best as I can. I use a program called DaVinci Resolve and it's completely free. I pretty much will just send all the videos from my iPhone Phone and all the audio from GarageBand to my PC and then I'll start importing them and matching them up so I will line up the video and then I'll edit them as overlays basically so I'm kind of resizing them to make them all fit I kind of just am figuring this out as I'm going you know what part I want uh, full screen what are the smaller parts and in that small rectangle I'll eventually put the emote itself so that that's kind of playing along as I'm playing the music for it and also all these uh, like overlays I guess all the lines and boxes and everything are files that I made in Canva and then imported as you can see here into my PC I don't actually know if that's the most efficient way to do it I know some people will just use rectangles that are already in their video editing software but this is just kind of what I've done and I've gotten used to it and I have all these files now so I guess it's a little quicker at the moment but yeah, I might change that later down the line. So yeah, three hours and 23 minutes was the total for this project. Although there were 20 minutes that I needed to tack on that I mentioned earlier. And then actually once I started rendering this video, I kind of spent another at least 20 minutes or so because there was an issue, the video didn't render the whole way and it was something with a project setting. So I had to Google that and try to figure out what was going on with Resolve. So then eventually I rendered that. And then I guess I didn't include the process of me making a thumbnail and uploading the video, adding the title and description and tags. That all probably took an extra 30 minutes for just the title, description and tag and thumbnail I guess Dep it really depends on the thumbnail this one didn't take me that long also like I mentioned this was a really simple cover there was only two guitar parts and a bass part and no arranging for the covers where I have a lot of horn parts and flute parts and stuff like that I'll actually arrange it so I'll open up a notation software called muse score and I'll actually type all the notes into there and do a full arrangement and then that takes way longer usually so this is definitely one of the shortest ones that I've made on my channel that's pretty much the extent of this cover it was pretty simple if I record saxophone I'll actually record the audio into a microphone obviously I usually record that in a closet, believe it or not, because the sound is the best in there. It's the most uh, dead. And then I can always add reverb later, which is often what I do. But yeah, that's pretty much the general process. This wasn't super in-depth, but if you have any specific questions about things, just leave me a comment and I'll try to answer as best as I can. But I hope that's helpful and I hope that clears a lot of things up. If you want to see the final video, I'll have that pop up on the end screen now so you can check it out and see what the full thing looks like. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. And if you have any questions, let me know.